Town Tracking platform. Uh, it's used by utilities across the country. Uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, so I've uh, been in the industry since 2008. Uh, started with a what used to be a very small consulting firm, uh, which is now very large. Uh, left there with the experience in program management over the seven years that I was there. I uh, took that knowledge uh, as well with my co-founder Jonathan Kleinman, and we built this tool. Uh, this tool was intended to be used as to make you know from a program manager's life that much easier. So it's from my personal field experience in managing these programs, reporting uh, the nuances around regulatory reporting, and the frustrations around that, to build something that was a lot more user friendly than was available on the market at the time. So a little bit about Iquius. Uh, you know, we've been around since 2015, uh, but we have rapidly expand, expanded across the country. Uh, we do work in 16 different states, a uh, combination of uh, power path and software sales, uh, as well as consulting services. So what does PowerPath do and what is it? So PowerPath is a software as a service platform for DSM tracking. Uh, it's intended to track the activities that take place with your customers, the documentation that takes place with these projects as they are managed. Uh, it's also meant to remove the amount of inconsistencies through the multiple databases, Excel uh, tracking spreadsheets, access databases that ultimately a lot of utilities, small and large, rely on to manage their programs. Measure. So cost effectiveness of the portfolio, be able to measure the impact that you're having on your communities uh, is really intended to be that system of record where you're able to run, generate reports, uh, have real-time information, access to it to be able to measure and report on it. Additionally, you know, there's the tracking, but there's also the forecasting. So forecasting program performance, uh, participation, estimated savings, year-to-date uh, rebate expenditures. So all of that that really needs to take place to uh, manage a comprehensive portfolio We've built into the platform. It's been touched on earlier, but it's really intended to simplify how programs operate, especially with multiple implementers, implementation contractors, subcontractors. To those contractors, uh, it can get very confusing and can ultimately make things a lot harder for everyone, especially customers to be able to participate in these programs. And so ultimately to have a very simple, easy, intuitive user interface that not only from a program manager, but also a customer contractor who's engaging with those programs uh, just is able to quickly grasp it and move forward with the project. So reporting, you know, there's the budget, there's uh, participation, uh, there's the number of projects by contractor. So to be able to report on the aggregate as well as siloed information, uh, you're able to do out of the tool. It's a centralized system of records. So not only the customer communications, the documentation, the photos, invoices, W9s, all of that information is stored in PowerPath. So it is really that system of record for the portfolio. When it comes to projects and project management, that's something we really shine. Uh, personally, we, we built a lot of workflows that made things that much simpler and easier and intuitive for program managers as well as their customers. So when I talk about workflows and some of the automation that's been built in, uh, you know, the customer notifications, contractor notifications, the email notification, text notifications can be done out of it. Uh, you can kind of see the mobile device as well. And so that's what I'll kind of end the last of this on is, you know, we're all in the 21st century. We all use our mobile devices. Uh, to have all of that information and access to it in a desktop, but also extend that to your mobile device, whether you're in a board meeting or on the beach, to be able to see the forecasting, reporting, the metrics that you're gauging your program performance by, uh, you're ultimately able to have that access on your mobile device as well. So with that, and ultimately this is software as a service. It's built on top of the Salesforce Cloud, so you get that enterprise grade uh, application and third-party applications that are already on top of Salesforce. Ultimately, a lot of legacy databases and other systems that utilities approach DSM programs with is a daisy chain of information from subcontractors to other subcontractors to program manager to ultimately uh, the statewide entity or reporting entity that it needs to go to. Uh, there is a lot of data inconsistencies, errors uh, in having this type of model set up. Ultimately, we really are that hub and spoke design where all of that information is being passed either bi-directional or unidirectional, depending on who needs that information and what information that they need. Uh, this is a very simple model. It's very modular in design, so you're able to access certain databases or certain uh, contractors who need access or don't need access, and you can repeal it relatively quickly.
This is built on top of Salesforce, so we're able to pass through all of that enterprise grade, uh, ISO compliance, HIPAA compliance. Uh, you got banks, hospitals that are using Salesforce as their platform and system of record, and so that, by extension, uh, extends to utilities. Ultimately, with this hub and spoke type of design, it's very agile. And again, I've, mo I've mentioned that it's modular, but we are also very agile as a business. Uh, and one more point on the agility of kind of our approach. Uh, it usually takes, especially with configurations and platforms of choice, uh, you know, especially for a small modification, a pick list value, a new field to be added. You know, it's something that's maybe it seems trivial, but it also is important to how your program operates. And you might hear back from the, you know, your developer that, oh, it's going to take four to eight weeks, it's not really a hurry, or we'll get to it. Uh, we very much put that in our contract and our service level agreement. So 48 hour turnaround on minor modifications and things like that. And it's something we hold ourselves accountable to. So flexibility, uh, we're built on Salesforce, as I mentioned, uh, you don't need to be a developer. It's very much a low code type of platform, so it's very easy to modify and to be able to make it uh, that much easier to use. We have integrated and built in the TRM calculations for certain states. It's something that engineer by trade, but also recognizing that that is part of how DSM uh, programs are run and also very much labor intensive in that engineering calcul calculations and analysis. So to be able to build in those calculations, to be able to have the contractors put in the inputs and then to spit out the incentive calculations, the energy savings, therm savings, uh, that is all embedded into the tool. Automation, uh, you know, we're not replacing everyone with robots. It's really to make everyone's job easier and to be able to get them back out in the field more as opposed to be doing data entry and handling that. Uh, you know, whether it's through workflow automation, email templates and notifications, we really have set out to make this as close to Amazon one click or swiping the thumb on your phone to unlock it. Uh, that is really what we strive to be. Uh, workflows, uh, that can be set up either by the end user or ourselves. It's already embedded into the platform so we can just configure that to the utilities needs and how the program operates. Reporting, I think this is something that really sets us apart. Uh, you know, you've got here just a heat map, so you look at some of that historic program uh, participation, you might see on that southeast quadrant that there's low participation in that area. So you can be more strategic as a utility when you're going after uh, these programs and service offerings. All this information with a hub and spoke type of design is real time. So you're getting that information from the contractor that is coming in directly to your system of record. And as you're reporting it out, uh, whether on a weekly, annual, or quarterly basis, you're getting that information as accurate and it's done in real time. Ultimately, you need to forecast. So forecast your program performance, your portfolio performance. You're able to do it not at the end of the year, kind of looking in a rear view mirror versus actually looking out the windshield and what you need to get done throughout the course of the year and make changes to your portfolio. Uh, this is just another example of a dashboard. Uh, you know, you're able to see your measure mix, you're able to see the rebate volume, uh, historic rebate volume. Uh, it's, that's part of what we do is bring in those historic databases uh, into the tool. So you not only have something that's robust right out of the gate, but you also have access to all that information from prior participation in program years. Ultimately, uh, you know, this tool is intended to be used across the country and internationally soon. <laughs> And there's compliance issues. So not only uh, data security compliance, but also state and regulatory compliance for reporting. And so that is something from personal experience and having worked in multiple states that we very much understand the nuances and similarities between uh, various utilities and their reporting entities. So uh, I think with that, that'll do. Mm -hmm.